Um, <laughs> Nathan, what about you? How did you how did you come to the show? I was uh, I was in cahoots with 20th Century Fox at the time, and they were like a deal, and they were farming me out to different shows that they had on the line, and they, they, they forced me onto Joss Whedon, and I think he was fed up with all these people being forced on him. They put me in an office, and uh, this uh, lovely lady, Amy Britt, uh, said, okay, I'll just leave you guys alone, and she left, and there was this guy in the corner this darkened office with a purple sweater with a hole in it and scraggly red hair and a scraggly beard. He wore that sweater when I met him too. I said, who is this guy and when's Joss Whedon gonna get here? He was getting all prepped up to be Badger. He wanted to play Badger in the oh, pilot. Oh yeah. He did Badger at every table. Every week room. And well. Yeah, he did. And very well. So uh, and then we chatted for 45 minutes, and, and like you said, it was the details. He had, he had every detail worked out. Yeah. And I'd just been at, a, at another meeting, another sci-fi TV show meeting, and you know, had to develop an entirely new world. And I said, okay, so uh, explain to me this. If this is going to be like that, and this happens like this, what's the, how, what's the challenge of the show to actually kind of do this? I don't know. We don't know. These things just work themselves out. <laughs> But Joss, everything. He knew the lighting, the music, the no sound in space, bad guys wear hats, good guys don't. He just... <laughs> Except James. Uh, bad guys wear hats. It's not a bad guy. not. That doctor over there. He means really well, except for that time he tried to sell you out. But he means really well. You were a jerk that day. <laughs> Why do you have a soft spot for Jane? I don't know. Because he's so cute. <laughs> I don't know. Well, we have, we have uh, uh, I think, one of, the, one of the great scenes from that pilot uh, that we're going to relive right now.